All right. I wanted to read it. Not much to find, apparently. Some burglaries, break ins. Seems to lay pretty low. You could learn a thing or two from her. Snap. You can't step outside without it ending up in the news lately. As Bruce or Batman. You have to admit you've been drawing a lot of attention to yourself, and not the playboy billionaire buys new yacht kind of attention. I don't mean to beat a dead argument, but... No one's gonna figure it out, Carl. Trust me. Miss Vale noticed your injuries, so did Mr. Dent. If they put it together with the incident at the mayor's office, it would undo all the long nights and close calls we've endured to get here. You're in the spotlight more than ever. You have to be careful. I think you would say the city needs me. I have a job to do, okay? A responsibility to the city. You know why I do this. For the car, I presume. Well, the car helps. <laughs> you drive that thing like a bat out of hell. Oh, the puns. Don't worry, that's all. It's our gift and our curse. One more worry for the list. I saw Oz in what 20 years last time I saw him we were in grade school indeed you two were thick as thieves Oswald however took that role more literally than you Oswald dishonorable discharge illegal boxing matches arms dealing prison stints that's a criminal grand slam if I'm using the expression correctly unfortunately you are Oswald claimed he only wanted to catch up but his behavior following his family's collapse is troubling. Why he's returning now, I haven't the faintest idea. You think he might know something about the break-in? This Catwoman shows up around the same time Oswald comes back to town. Might not be a coincidence. Oswald's crimes, numerous they may be, are on a much smaller scale than robbing City Hall. Well, he was always trouble growing up, but <laughs> a fun kind of trouble. You both were. Even though you and young Master Cobblepot used to be close, I'd advise you to be cautious. But I know you can't abandon a good mystery until it's solved. I'll be careful, Alfred. When you see what's become of this park, I think you will. Cobblepot Park. Franny, no one met, gone away. Sweet, sex or sex, EM. Jesus, that's a fucking tight shot. Wow. shouldn't have shook that bitch's hand. Right, it's one may talk to him. It's basically forcing me. What's up? What's out here? Get you with the shower with me. Yeah, get it. Give him change. Uh, thank you, sir. New ball, Sean. A burning barrel. Cheese. YouTube comment. Great. There's the statue, but no eyes. What up, smoking man? Is that Bebop? Beat it. Nice guy. Tremendous penmanship. <laughs> what? Graffiti. Why do I need to look at this shit? Oh, 
Read it out to me. Don't have me read it. Well, it isn't what it used to be. Penguin. It's too tall to be penguin. Man, the hell are you waiting for? Huh? <laughs> Sorry, fellas. I've got nothing. And him, gentlemen. Oz, keep walking, all right? This don't concern you, twerp. You see, that's where you're mistaken. My old mate and I have some catching up to do. <laughs> the moment. Come here. I think that'll do. <laughs> this is fucking awesome. Okay. Good as new. Woo! That was the right little scrap, eh? Nothing kickstarts the system like a dash of adrenaline, eh? Besides, someone needed to deal with the rubber situation here. Well, thanks for the backup. I yanked you away from your bloody ivory tower, Bruce. Least I can do is make sure you don't get shaped. Oh, that's very thoughtful of you. It's been what? Two decades. And you know what? I haven't been mugged once that entire time. <laughs> uh, that, that wasn't why I brought you here, mate. Right now, I am trying to recognize the little Bruce I used to run around this place with. Back when it wasn't, you know, like this. This park used to mean something. A place that was safe for kids, for families. People came from all over to visit. Oh, Mum and Dad, they put so much work in here. Those were better days. That they were. Yeah. Thought we'd grow up to be kings, I did. Both of us. <sighs> this city chews right through people. <sighs> Mum committed to Arkham. Dad. Ended it yourself, you did. My family's fortune. There's nothing left, Bruce. I know, Alfred. It's funny, huh? Same place that ground my family to dust. Gave you the good life. Used to run in the same circles we did. Hobnobbing parties, round the world vacations, unlimited potential. Now all I got is this park. My parents are gone too, Oz. I know, Bruce, I know. I'm sorry for it. But I had my own funerals to attend. Good to know you haven't changed, Bruce. You still care about something more than just yourself. Although, I was surprised to see Carmine Falcone at your party last night. Made himself right at home. That oily... Oh, wish I could have punched that grin into the back of his throat. Let him choke on it. Falcone was an uninvited guest. That's it. Never want to see his face again. Why would shake his hand? We can agree in earnest. Falcone made a stack of cash and corpses a mile high, ruining families like mine. All he needs is a little push. And... It'd be a treat to watch him hit pavement. Sorry, mate. This reunion got a lot more grim than others. <laughs> Things are going to be on the upswing soon, though. A revolution is knocking on Gotham's door, and I'm here to let it in. 
Which brings me to you, Bruce. You see, you throw a rock in any direction, you break a window that Wayne Enterprise has owned. As the rich and powerful go, oh, you top Gotham bliss. But when my revolution starts, we're gonna smash windows and cross off names all the way down. Like I said, it's not gonna be pretty. It's gonna be beautiful. And I can't wait to get started. I'm not your enemy, Thomas. That remains to be seen, don't it? I've got great affection for you, Bruce. I really do. Which is why I'm warning you. When this whole thing starts, make sure you're on the right side. I fucking love this penguin. Good seeing you, Bruce, but I got some rocks to collect. Cheers. Oh, he's badass. I like it. That's one of those changes where it's actually rare and really effective. Quite happy, by the way. Press conference for news will start soon. Look at Alfred using the taxis. Yeah. I really thought Peng if Penguin was going to be in it when I heard like Oz, I was expecting like a small guy. So really happy with like them mixed up a little bit. Hopefully they do that with the other guys in that as well. Is that the Wayne Manor? Awesome, Martha. Martha! Why'd you say that name? <laughs> Man, the textures suck dick in this game. Wow. This way, over here, right here. This way. Bruce, Bruce! Why did you shake King's hand? Good morning, everyone. Morning, Mr. Dent. Hey, Bruce, you mind if we swap cars? I mean, mine isn't fast, and the paint's rusting off, but boy, does she have charm. <laughs> oh, we didn't bring you all out here Lol. to discuss cars, honestly. We're here about Arkham Asylum. My phone. Ever since it opened its doors, Arkham has been a breeding ground for the criminally insane. Its methods for rehabilitation, crude. Its security, lacking. And the rate of death and suicide inside the asylum itself is truly terrifying. And worse still, those who do get out, or God forbid escape, are even more dangerous than before they went in. Arkham Asylum is a cancer on Gotham. <clears throat> but today, with a sizable contribution from this man here, we break ground on a state-of-the-art mental health care facility. One that will improve the well-being of Gotham and its citizens for years to come. And Mr. Wayne has a few words he'd like to say. Bruce? My parents love Gotham. They invested their blood sweat and tears in this city. Our lives. You know, when I was uh, nine years old, my parents took me to see a movie about a hero and a mask. It was a hero who stood up to oppression and defended the people from injustice, no matter the cost. That night, my parents paid the ultimate cost defending me from a man. Who needed the kind of help this new facility will provide. With this facility and our next mayor, we create a new face for Gotham. Coined it. Today, on the anniversary of that fateful night, we dedicate this facility to Thomas and Martha Wayne and usher in a new era of healing for Gotham. Woo! <laughs> Fucking clap uh, for it. Sure, you all have plenty of questions about the new hospital, so let's open it up. You first, Miss Vale. Thank you. With the opening of this new hospital, what does this mean for Arkham Asylum? What happens to the old building? I think Arkham has only done harm to Gotham. It's made criminals more unstable, jeopardy. 
we can do better. All right, who's up next? Uh, you there. Mr. Wayne, Julia Remark of the Tribune. Hello. My sources say you welcomed alleged mob boss Carmine Falcone. Fucking knew it. You even shook his hand. Well, I think Mr. Falcone is a voter just like anyone else in this city. He came to learn about Harvey Dent, your next mayor. Next question. Please keep your questions on topic, people. We're here about the hospital, remember? Try not to be rude. Way, this morning, the Globe received evidence of an offshore bank account managed by Carmine Falcone and your father, Thomas Wayne. What exactly are you implying? Transactions connected to organized crime going back years and continuing to this day. The paper trail ties your family directly to the mob. Bullshit. Care to comment? And did anyone else receive this evidence? The Globe, the Gazette, we all did. Mr. Wayne, Mr. Wayne, is all your money dirty? Is the Wayne family legacy built on lies? Did you know about this, Bruce? How long has your family been dealing with Falcone? Could the allegations be true? What are you telling us? Does the mob sign Wayne Enterprises paychecks? I think you should check your source. Sounds to me like an intern is finally putting their creative writing minor to good use. Mr. Wayne, Mr. Wayne! How long has your family been dealing with Falcone? Could the allegations be true? Fucking that's what Alfred is warning about me. What are you telling us? I'm sorry about this, Bruce. I don't know where the hell it's coming from. Damage controls my territory. We'll talk later. Everyone, everyone, please settle down. I'll be fielding your questions from here on out. Please, let's try to keep this civilized. Bruce, I've been trying to reach you. The police are inside the manor. I'm digging this game.